All right, today uh, I'm comparing a Guild Mark 7 classical guitar, 1970 Guild Mark 7, to a 1978 Guild Mark 3. These are both very special guitars. The Mark III I have here is from 78. This is my very first Guild classical guitar that I got uh, for Christmas years back when I was about uh, 19 years old. So I've had this guitar a good, good portion of my life. I've learned to play on this Guild and uh, that's what sparked my interest in the Guild classical guitars years ago. But let me just show you here, I've been posting on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, comparison videos on the Guild Mark 7 against uh, all the other Guild classical guitar models. And uh, quick summary, there's seven models. Uh, the first three, the Mark 1, 2, and 3, were typically the student models. They all came with mahogany, either Honduran mahogany or, in the, in the case of the Mark 3, Peruvian mahogany, which you can't really see too much of the grain in there from my cell phone here. But, uh, uh, and I should have cleaned it up, I guess, but anyhow, that's uh, what it looks like back there. That's Peruvian mahogany. And the Mark 7 is uh, the, the famous uh, Brazilian rosewood from about 200 years ago. It's about 250 years old now. Um, this particular Brazilian rosewood was held back just for the Mark 7 models at, at the Guild factory. And uh, the Guild Mark 7 was the custom order model. Like I said, there's the first three models, the Mark 1, 2, and 3 were the student models. The 4, 5, and 6 were the more professional, fancier models because of the tone woods. And the Mark 7 was a custom order artist special derivative of the Mark 6 with a longer scale length. This scale length is 26 and a quarter inches, where all the other models were typically 25 or 24 and a, um, 25 and a half, I'm sorry, 25 and a half inches. Some were like 25 and 5 eighths or whatever, but in general, the, the, all the other models were 25 and a half inches. This one is rare or more unique because it's 26 and a quarter. It's a little longer scale length. A little bit different to learn how to play, believe it or not. Just a little bit different. Um, the Mark 7 also had a custom rosette. All 10 models had uh, their own unique rosettes. Uh, a couple of the models had similar rosettes. Uh, the Mark, this Mark 7, there's another Mark 7 with this same rosette with the hearts in it. Um, and, uh, but the Mark, all the other Marks had uh, standard rosettes. This Mark 3 has this Mexican motif type rosette, beautiful. Uh, all the Mark 3s had this particular rosette that I'm aware of. They also had dovetail joints, the Mark 1, 2, 3, and 4 had dovetail joints connecting the neck to the body. And on the four, the five, six, and seven, they all had a Spanish feet hanging, uh, connecting the neck to the body in there. You can't really see it, but I'm going to play the Mark Seven against the Mark Three. See what you think. <laughs> That's the Mark 7 and the Mark 3 is just another beauty. Let's see if I cleaned up a little bit here. So like I said, the Mark 1, 2, and 3 are very common student models. The Mark 4, 5, and 6 were the, a little bit different uh, as far as uh, how many they made. They didn't make near as much as them. And the Mark 7, again, is the custom order one. So this, this guitar, like I said, I started out with, it's a cedar top. Some were made out of cedar. Most of the Guild Classicals were made out of spruce, but this is a cedar example with uh, Peruvian mahogany back and sides. 
and it's been all over the place for me. I play this one everywhere I've gone, usually on trips and everywhere, but here we go. So I'll do a G chord on the Mark Three. Chord on the mark seven. Oop, I moved. I can tell this has more resonance than the other one. It's also a little bit deeper bodied and longer scale, so it's a little louder. So, again, here's a mark seven compared against a mark three in this case. And I want both wonderful guitars. If you can get your hands on, a, on any of the Guild classical guitars, from a Mark One to a Mark Seven, you'll enjoy it. They're wonderful to play. I, in my opinion, the best American-made classical guitars, best family of uh, classical guitars made in America, are the Mark uh, Classicals from Gill, and they were produced again from 1961 through uh, 1987 or so in two factories, Hoboken, New Jersey, and Westerly, Rhode Island. These two, again, this is the 1970 Guild Mark Seven and a 1978 Field Mark III. So good luck, and I hope you enjoyed this comparison. Thanks a lot. <laughs>